And another episode tonight in the unforeseen consequences of Obamacare this evening. Chief National Correspondent Jim Angle tells us how the president's health care plan might backfire on some of the neediest of Americans. People with serious pre-existing diseases, precisely those the president aimed to help, may be treated badly by Obamacare because they may have to pay for expensive drug treatments with no help from the exchanges. Those with expensive diseases such as lupus or multiple sclerosis face what is called a closed drug formulary. If the medicine you need isn't on that list, it's not covered at all. You're, you have to pay completely out of pocket to get that medicine, and the money you spend doesn't count against your deductible and it doesn't count against your out-of-pocket limits. So you're basically on your own. So it could be that an MS patient would be expected to pay $62,000 just for one medication. That's a possibility under the new Obamacare that's going on right now. In fact, one conservative group is running an ad from a woman with lupus who supported the president. I voted for Barack Obama for president. I thought that Obamacare was going to be a good thing. But Emily Lamb says she got a letter saying her insurance was canceled because of Obamacare, pushing her premiums from $52 to $373 a month. I'm having to work a second job to pay for Obamacare. For somebody with lupus, that's not an easy thing. If I can't afford to continue to pay for Obamacare, I don't get my medicine. I don't get to see my doctors. One of the problems is that drugs for some diseases, such as MS, do not have generics. So without cheaper alternatives and no help from Obamacare, patients could face huge personal bills, forcing some to skimp on their medications. When you're treating it, for most people, they handle it pretty well. But if you don't treat it, it's the kind of disease that people end up in wheelchairs, potentially. In the commercial market, of course, drugs not on the preferred list would also be more expensive. When you go outside that list, um, you have to pay out of pocket for it, but you do get some co-insurance, meaning the plans will pay some of the cost of that. Some say Obamacare hoped to do better on that, but ran out of time. To be able to make sure that all the systems were operational in 2014, they realized that they needed to give an extra year to get those systems changes in place. Officials intend to try again next year. Additional benefits, though, cost more, meaning premiums would have to rise, or the networks of providers would shrink even further. Doug?